In this video, we are going to learn about the some important results and their proofs based on the fundamental concept in a graph theory that is the handshaking theorem. Now, what is a handshaking theorem? Handshaking theorem states that for any undirected graph, the sum of degree of all the vertices is equal to twice of the number of edges. Mathematically, if we say that G is the undirected graph with V vertices and E edges, then the total degree of the graph, that is the sum of degree of each vertices, is equal to twice of E. What does it mean? It means we are collecting the summation of the degree of each vertex of the graph where Vn represents the last vertex of the graph. As this makes a sense because every edge contributes exactly two times to the total degree. The first result in this case we are going to prove with the help of the hand checking theorem that is the number of odd degree vertices in a graph is always even. How to prove this one? The first step, we will divide the set of all the vertices into two categories. The first category we have even degree vertices. And the second category we have odd degree vertices. What does it mean? We have the vertex set. We have divided this into two parts. One is of even degree vertices. And another is the odd degree vertices. So we are going to represent let VE be the set of vertices with even degree. And VO be the set of vertices with odd degree. Now, total degree of all vertices is sum of degree of each vertices. Here V is from the entire set V is equal to sum of degree of vertices from the set VE that is an even degree vertices plus sum of the degree of vertices from the set VO that represents the odd degree vertices. Now from the hand checking theorem, sum of the degree of each vertex is equal to two times of number of edges and this is always even number. It means from 1 and 2, what can we can conclude? We have the right side of the 1 is equal to the even number because this sum is even. So we can write sum of the degree of vertices from the vertex set VE that contains the even degree vertices plus sum of degree of vertices from the set of VO that represents the set of odd degree vertices, this is, is equal to even number. As it is a sum of even degree vertices, so this sum is always even. And on the right hand side, we already have an even. When you subtract these two one, again we have the even number. So this concludes that sum of all degree vertices because we are taking the vertices from the set VO that is always even. Now what does it state? It states that sum of 
or degree vertices is even and this is possible when which is possible when count of or degree vertices is even why if we are saying that the sum of odd numbers like suppose we have taken the odd numbers as 1 3 5 if you add this one whether the sum is even no this sum will be even only in a one case if we have another number of the odd form let it be a 7 now check it whether the sum is even yes so we have odd numbers that is how many times even times to get the sum as even so that is the proof of the statement the second important result we have proof that the number of edges in a complete graph is equal to the n into n minus 1 by 2 where n represents the number of vertices in complete graph and the complete graph is represented by capital k with a subscript m so we need to prove that the total number of edges in a graph complete is n into n minus 1 by 2 let's understand this and prove it using the hand shaking theorem before that let's understand the concept of the complete graph complete graph is basically a simple graph undirected and exactly one edge between every pair of vertices pair of distinct vertices simple graph means no self loop and no multiple edges let's take a small example of the complete graph that is a k5 so here we have taken the k5 graph that has a five vertices so in this case each vertex is get connected with other four vertices like the first vertex is get connected with the second third fourth fifth so it is get connected by four vertices even for the second vertex that is connected with the first vertex fifth vertex fourth and third so in this case we can calculate the vertex degree the degree of this vertex is 4 degree of this vertex is 4 degree of this vertex is 4 degree of this vertex is again 4 and the degree of this vertex is also 4 so we can conclude that degree of each vertex is 4 in k5 graph now what is the total degree total degree is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 how many times we are adding 4 that is a 5 times it can also be written as 5 into 4 that is is equal to 20 now let's generalize this result for the complete graph with n vertices and prove the statement the number of edges in a complete graph is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 for that we write in complete graph kn each vertex has a degree of n minus 1 the total number of vertices in k n is n thus we can say that the degree of k n graph is equal to sum of degree of each vertex where vertex belongs to the complete graph k n that is is equal to the degree of first vertex plus degree of second vertex 
up to degree of nth vertex. Now the degree of each vertex in KN graph is n minus 1. So we can write here as a n minus 1 plus degree of the second vertex is also n minus 1. Continue this degree of the nth vertex is also n minus 1. So we are adding n minus 1 how many times? n times. So we can write in this case n into n minus 1. So this is the degree of complete graph k. The total degree of the graph is equal to the 2 times of number of edges by handshaking theorem. So we write by handshaking theorem degree of the complete graph is equal to the twice of number of edges. So here we have the first equation that total degree of the graph is n into n minus 1. In a second equation we have total degree of complete graph is equal to 2 times of number of edges. So from 1 and 2 we have 2 times of number of edges is equal to n into n minus 1. This implies number of edges is equal to n into n minus 1 by 2 in complete graph where the number of vertices are n. And this is how we need to prove the statement. The next result we have Prove that the maximum number of edges in any simple graph is equal to the n into n minus 1 by 2 where n represents the number of vertices. So first thing we need to take a simple graph. After that we need to calculate the number of edges. Whenever the question is to find the edges, we always use a handshaking theorem because we know that from the handshaking theorem, total degree of the graph is equal to twice of number of edges. The same thing we are going to apply in this case. The first step, whatever the thing is given to you, take it as it is. What is given to us? That is a simple graph. So we consider a simple graph with n vertices. Let it be V1, V2, V3 up to Vn. From handshaking theorem, we know that total degree of the graph is equal to degree of V1 vertex plus degree of V2 vertex. Continue this till degree of Vn vertex and this is further is equal to the twice of number of edges where E represents the number of edges and on the right side we can take it as it is. Now what we needed to find? We need to find the maximum number of edges possible in a simple graph. That means we need to consider the maximum degree that any vertex can have. In simple graph we have no self loop, no multiple edges. So the maximum degree of any vertex can be what? Means this vertex is get connected with the second vertex, with the third vertex, up to nth vertex. Except itself, it is get connected by n minus 1 vertices. So its maximum degree is n minus 1. By this concept, what we can do? First, we will operate the maximum function on both sides. Maximum of 2 times of E, that is as equal to the maximum of the degree of vertex V1 plus degree of vertex V2. Continue this plus degree of vertex Vn. What does it mean? It means we are taking the maximum degree of the vertex V1 plus maximum of the degree of the vertex V2 plus 
मैक्सिमम डिग्री ऑफ वर्टेक्स वी एन ऑन द साइड वी कैन राइट टू टाइम्स ऑफ मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ एजेस मैक्सिमम डिग्री ऑफ वी वन इज दैट इज एन माइनस वन बिकॉज दैट इज गेट कनेक्टेड विद एन माइनस वन वर्टिस Similarly, maximum degree of the vertex V two is again it get connected with n minus one vertices. It means each vertex maximum degree is n minus one. Now, how many times we are adding this n minus one? That is n times. So we can write this is n into n minus one. On left side we have twice of maximum number of edges. so in this case the maximum number of edges for any simple graph we have n into n minus 1 by 2 where n represents the number of vertices in simple graph and that's what we need to prove 